What is going on guys, we have an ultra sun and moon OU oh, live. I've been sick the last few days, so that's why there have not been that many uploads. And yeah, I'm still a bit sick, so we will see how long I can record. But if I can record, then there's gonna be this live for sure, but maybe another one with Naganadel right after. I already did a live yesterday where I talked about all the new mods and the new meta, but it's super annoying because I couldn't upload that. And like half through the live, my voice just kind of died. But it is a pretty cool team with uh, AV Bulu. As long as they don't have Gunk Shot on the Ash Grant, it's an amazing Ash Grant check. I like Battle Bond. So yeah, I'm expecting this to be um, Sash Excadrill. How he leads his own Greninja. He's shiny and female, so he's definitely protein. So I have to fear this being Gunk Shot. But I think going into Bulu first is still a play to make. But this might be a Spikes lead. Yeah, yeah, oh fuck, I should not have done that then. Because now he's either gonna Ice Beam or Gunk Shot me. That, like, I have to scout for Ice Beam or Gunk Shot. So let me go to Heat and scout for that. Yeah, like, usually these leads carry Taunt, Ice Beam, slash Gunk Shot. And then either um, Toxic Spikes and Taunt. No, not either, Toxic Spikes and Taunt. So I just hope that he's the same set and not that he changed the set. Because if he changed the set, it's gonna be a bit annoying for me. But yeah, we have Defog Lando on this team, right? Which is cool. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Defog Lando, but on this team it fits. Yeah, I don't see a point in getting up my rocks because... I don't know why he went to Blacephalons, but Death Trin is like one of the best checks to it. So I'm just gonna have power. Shadowball is gonna do... Um, okay. I don't know if that's Specs or Scarf. I haven't used this mod enough. But yeah, I don't know why he went to that. This is basically my Blacephalon check. Slash counter. Also, my Naganadel answer. Oh, yeah, I have to keep this healthy. What am I? That was actually really risky what I'm doing here. Not, But yeah, I'm not gonna let it take another hit. If he just stays in here, that would be lovely because I could get off my defog with my Landris. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Now he toxics me, which is obviously a bit annoying. Uh, but he does not have an off quick switch in. A good, not, a, not a good one at least. So we can just off quick here. Uh, he's probably Sash Drill, but that's completely fine. I mean, I could also U-turn. Uh, yeah, U-turn would have been the better play, actually. Um, I assume that is the, Z the new Z-move for Mimikyu. Um, Z play rough. Okay, he just attacks me. So he takes some helmet. A life orb, okay. So he's probably Z-move Naganadel then. But yeah, I have a lot of teams. Um, I'm gonna leave this team in the description. Actually, I'm not allowed. If I'm not sure if I'm allowed to leave this in the description because I snatched it. But I'm gonna leave the teams um, that some of my friends built, some uh, I made. We're gonna leave at least four teams in the description. So check them out and abuse them as long as you can use Naganadel. <laughs> um, go to Ninja here and click Z move. Uh, Hydro Vortex. Because, like, I'm actually too lazy to calc right now. Because, like I said, I'm still sick. I just want to get some games in. I want to see my the new mods put in Whip with Cephalon and Naganadel. I'm going to use Naganadel right after. And I don't think Dark Bolt would have killed since Mimikyu has decent spadev. And I didn't want to risk missing a Hydro Pump. But not sure why he went into Excadrill. Because, yeah, the crit didn't matter. I'm, did it? She, it might, yeah, it might have been a roll otherwise. So, so okay. I guess it mattered. Would have been a roll otherwise. Would have done 90 something. Go oh, shiny Katana. Katana gets knockoff now. Um, like I said, I made a video about what where I talk about everything, but just didn't, I couldn't upload it half th halfway through. My voice died and just stopped recording. I'm like, I got so mad. So kind of expecting this to be Scarf Leaf Blade. I'll just sack my Landorus pretty much. He already lost Mimikyu and Excadrill. I don't really need the land for anything else. I'm just gonna U-turn here. Um, earlier I should have also U-turned when I mean, off quick, but it's fine. Alright, we can go to Ladi here. We can just click uh, HP fighting, I guess. In case he goes Greninja, exactly. That's why I didn't want a Psychic and also didn't want a Draco. Because <laughs> Draco can miss. And if he, yeah, he goes Naganadel, and I think I'll go Spadeftran here. The thing is, Naganadel is not in the Calc yet, so 
It's gonna be a bit annoying to run Kalx with that. But I think I just have to stay in and not let him set up. Exactly. He might be focused Sash. No, he's not Sash. He, he predicted me to switch. I guess he had like... But I just didn't let him set up for Frida, so I stand by my play. Um, yeah, I'll just HP fighting here. As he's knockoff. There's definitely Scarf Cartana, and I got another crit that doesn't matter. Scarf. Uh, I had Water Shuriken to kill him, and then my, he was locked into knockoff, so my Bulu and my Trun would have also dealt with him. So we're gonna keep using this team for a few games, and now I think this life is just gonna be this team. But I have a lot of other teams in the back that I wanna use and show you guys. Just, I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to do so because, yeah, since I'm sick, my voice might not be able to, like, I might not be able to record that many games. Let me see this guy's rank. Um, ah, not the best. But Pinsa is definitely a threat to this team, that's for sure. Now, uh, Greninja seems like a good lead versus him, though. Like, Landorus with Defog can be really cool on some teams, like my man Insult made a team with uh, Defog, Rando and M M Mew, and you can run another move slot on Mew, you can run Will-O-Wisp, Ice Beam off power and Softball, which is amazing, when, when like back in Sun and Moon, you couldn't do that, you had to run Defog on Mew most of the time, but like now, like that one, we just didn't have many good Defoggers, let's put it that way, now we have so many Defoggers, I also have a team with Defog Rotom, I have a team with, uh, what else got default new? Default list score, my man BTB made a team with that. Definitely dropped some teams in the description. Looking at his team, there's probably Scarf Lando. It could also be Scarf with Cephalon. But I don't want to risk that. Um, so if, I'm just going to go Landris here, just in case he's Scarf U turn. That would give me some helmet chip damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Scarf the way he played that. I could have also gone for Water Shuriken and tried to kill him, but since I'm not Specs, I don't think that would have worked out. So here I'm expecting him to. If he doesn't have Earth Power, I'm expecting him to double switch, but I'm just gonna play it safe because it's low ladder. Yeah, I expected either Ice Beam or Wisp, but then I realized, oh, I have a Heat and this guy should like double Earth Power. <clears throat> um, what I could do here is Lava Plume because he doesn't have a good switch in, but I could also just go for Rocks. This guy doesn't have a Nag and Adele, so I don't need my Heat at f like at full for anything. So he has Landris here, I'm expecting him to predict my land on HP ice or to double out or U-turn again um, but yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna go Ladi as a mid ground play like if he U-turns it that doesn't work out for me but yeah I don't like that play because nah his play was not good in my opinion he should have doubled if he predicts my landers like it worked out in this scenario yes but I, I don't like his play because he would have done like only a little bit of chip and he would have taken helmet damage. I mean, now I'm just gonna HP fighting him. Which is only the 60. Well, I, you can say I should have played that better, but... The land was so obvious there. If I was in mode of HP iced, or I would have doubled not wanting to take the helmet with U-turn. But oh well. But now we have his Tita weaken, which is amazing. That's like that's what I like about this team. Uh, you weaken the Tita with Lari and then Blacephalon. But Cephalon pretty much wins, um, besides I have to watch out for Quick Attack from Pinsir and I have to watch out for a potential speed type with opposing Blacephalon. But otherwise I can sweep him with Fire Blast. But we can go Greninja here and click, uh, we can get up a Spike here, um, predicting the Tangros to come out. And if he goes to Mew, um, that's fine, we can just Dark Pulse. And I'm expecting a knockoff here, so I kind of want to stay in. Now nah, I'm just gonna go Landris. I don't wanna risk my Greninja, because my Greninja is actually amazing in this matchup. In case he knocks off, we get helmet damage. And now we can just U-turn out. And we get an unfortunate crit. I'm expecting a Giga Drain or HP Ice here. So he chain covers both. If he knocks off again, it's not the end of the world. So he just Giga Drains and... I'm just Lava Plume here, he doesn't have a good switch in at all. If he stays in it, dies, and if he switches, what is he gonna do? Go Tita, and now Tita dies to her, that's plus Lava Plume, I'm pretty sure. Tita actually, yeah, yeah. And Mew, get, Mew can potentially get burned. Maybe I should have doubled, not letting the Mew defog, but we get the burn, so it's fine. And what we can do here is taunt the Mew, so he can, he can, he has to decide whether he wants to defog or soft bolt. 
So he sets the defog, which means he's not gonna heal and can rocks again. So no, I mean, I could have also gone to Greninja because he didn't have good Greninja switch ins anymore. Yeah, I guess maybe the Greninja would have been a better play. Yeah, now I'm just gonna go Landris. I'm tired of this guy. I'm just U-turning every t like, like. See, he keeps going for moves that. Oh, I already lost my helmet. Never mind. But I was, I still don't like knockoff there. I don't, I don't really like how this guy's playing. We can just get a U-turn here. He's forced out, and we get momentum. Hopefully this doesn't kill him as it does, man. I wanted to get my Ash. <laughs> I could have played this a bit better for sure. Yeah, now I can go to my Blacephalon. I think Tita dies at 16. Yeah, I think Tita dies at 16% to a Fire Blast. Maybe this wasn't the play. It probably wasn't the play, but I just want to see this mom put him work. <laughs> Like how much special attack did I have? 401. I should have calculated that before I went to it. Oh yeah, we have Smackdown on this 4 Volcarona. Corona. But yeah, now it's too late, I have to attack. But let's see, a Kalk versus Standard Banta. Oh, Fire Blast. Wait, that is so much, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot the Sandstorm. So yeah, it should kill him if he's not HP invested. And even if he's a little bit HP invested, it should kill him. Nice. Okay, so I didn't mess up. If Tita didn't exist, this mon might actually be... I don't want to say broken, but it would be so good. So he's going to his own, and I think his own would potentially die to Fire Blast. But, so this might be a speed tie. And since I'm at plus one. Yeah, this has a really good chance to kill him. I really want to just go for it, because if I win the speed tie and kill him... If I get the roll, I think I just win with this. But I have to connect more Fire Blast. But I'm willing to risk this because I want to see this new Mon put in work. Yeah, this is how amazing this Mon is. But I mean, it's not as bulky as you can tell because it dies to its Fire Blast from, it, from itself. And how much is Quick Attack from Pinsa do? And mine is Defense Nature, so it's potentially gonna r blow me away. Not sure if this guy is just going for dodge, though. 60 to 71, but I'm minus Defense Nature. Um, what should we call it? 127 defense. Wait, what's that nature called? Is it like hasty or something like that? My bad, my bad. Yeah, it's hasty, okay. I just wanted to make sure that I don't die to quick attack. So that's 67 to 79. So it doesn't kill me, I just have to hit my Fire Blast. I mean, I trust this Mon. Ah, nice. So pretty much all I did, already did a lot of work. That's, that's just what I wanted to do it in this life. And I mean, I died a Sandstorm after this turn, but I can still get another kill if I connect. Nice. So that, this Mon is just an amazing late game sweeper. After you beaten the Tita especially. He does pretty much on every team at the moment. Yeah, what we can do is here just go Greninja and... Oh, I thought he was lower. Never mind then. Yeah, never mind. That was a bad play on my part. Like an awful bad play. I just gave him more health, yeah. But yeah, what I can do here is go land or see you turn out. And finish him off with either Bulu or Heatran. I mean, I definitely did not play as optimal, but I really don't care. I just want to show off the new mons. I mean, in this case, it's only one new mon. And it's Defog Lander, so it's technically two new mons. But we're gonna keep this a bit shorter, around 30 minutes. We're gonna, so we're gonna get like two more games at least. Let's see. So this is another game of, of course he has Tita, it's on every fucking team. <laughs> it's just a bit sad when using Blacephalon, they always have a Tita. Um, so he also is not the best win loss ratio. But yeah, Lari is overall nice as a lead. If he needs Tar, we can still get off good damage with HP fighting, and if he goes for Pursuit, I might even be able to eat it, right? Like, it's obviously not gonna kill. He might be forced out is what I'm trying to say. 
So it's with Landris. Um, is this Scarf? It doesn't have to be Scarf because he has potential speed control in the Sand Rush Drill. It doesn't have to be Sand Rush Drill either. It could also be Scarf Drill. But yeah, if he's Scarf, he would U-turn out into t here, so I think HP Fighting is the play. Uh, is he Scarf? So hopefully he goes t -tar. instead of Tapu Fini. Yeah, he just goes Fini. Uh, that's a smart decision, I guess. How did he know that I have HP Fighting? This guy is like a mind reader. So he has Scald, it's gonna be bad for me, but AV Bulu is my play here. So he's Calm Mind, and I'm not gonna play around with that. I'm just gonna Horn Leech, um, yeah. So I can actually try to super power here, but it's not worth it because Fini is annoying to my team if I lose this. So Greninja is probably the bad play. Flash can see Scarf. We have a, you can get up a spy here and he stayed in. To is he Bloom Doom? Um, I was just gonna say it like. Like a few minutes ago, like another few minutes, a few seconds ago. Like we have not, like Bruno Mihitron has not been like common in like so long. Like uh, you'd never see it like, anymore. Um, I don't like his play, but it worked. So what can I say? I could have let, uh, like I could have easily killed him there. I don't even know if he predicted my spike. If he predicted my spike, props to him, I guess. Not even sure what to do at this point because Grassy Terrain is up, which means he doesn't die to my off quake. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I wanna HP is he trying to catch his landers. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. And his lander was scarf, so is that gonna U-turn our HP eyes here? Hmm. So yeah, I can go to heat run here because Yeah, heat run is fine. No one earthquakes a lander. So now he's locked into HPI is amazing. Um so he might go in the top of Fini here, so I think Taunt is my play. Taunt is my play to block him from defogging. I could have also doubled into my Bulu, but in case he stayed in there wasn't Nah, no, that would have been fine, I think. But in case he went heat turn, that's why that's why I taunted. And yeah, we're gonna go into Fini now. Uh, Bulu, expecting a latest madness. Oh, okay, serves. At least he doesn't have scald. Okay, now I'm gonna super power expecting the heat turn. She nature's madness is a better play. Uh, why does he do that? Uh, that was an ass play on his part. Uh, okay, now I'm just gonna horn leech in case he stays in because I don't wanna let him defog. Okay, nice. He sacks it, so he's not gonna get a defog off. Okay, he can technique. Okay, he already showed calm mind. What am I talking about? He most likely does not have defog. He's probably spin on drill. But yeah, when I see Finny, I always think that it's defog. So we're gonna just go Landris here. If he SDs, I'm gonna have to scout for um for um Z move Steelium Coxal Crash. Since it's a rain is up, he might stay in, so I'm gonna off quick just in case he rapid spins. I don't wanna let him rapid spin for free, as hopefully he doesn't flinch me here. Oh nice, I think he just forfeited. Oh no, he's, he's still there. But now I killed the Drill, so I don't necessarily need my Lando. But I go Tabu Bulu, he has a mid ground play. Covers a uh, U turn off quick and HP ice, and he just stone edges. And I think super power is fine here, but let's just play it safe. Whatever, like super power wouldn't have done that much more than Horn Leech to Tangros. And we get some health back, which is nice. And now I can go Lardy. I mean, he still has his T tier life, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna recover here. He's staying in, which is surprising. That's definitely not the play to make. Maybe he predicted me to double out. I don't know. Why is he staying in? The reason why I don't want to Draco or Psychic is if I Draco lower my special attack, if I Psychic and he goes Tita that turn, it would be a bit annoying. So I'm just gonna HP fighting here because he should like he should realize that he's not 
He shouldn't stay in, but I guess now I'm giving away my secret that I have HP fighting. Hmm. I don't care. Like, if he keeps doing this, uh, I'm just psychic now. Damn, this guy's a genius. <laughs> like, I was gonna say, I had no reason not to recover um, HP fighting again. And it was actually too. I just. I should have just. St um, like, I should have just kept spamming HP fighting because Tangris doesn't beat me. There was a misplay on my part, guys, but it's completely fine. Um, we just sack our Landris here. I think I should have stayed in, actually. Just in case he did it again, because if, he did, if he's at plus two, I can't revenge him that well. So I'm gonna sack my Landris. Yeah, I don't know if Shadow Ball would kill him because Mega Tita is really bulky. Might have to go for Fire Blast. Yeah, Fire Blast would definitely kill. Oh. I mean, he's at neutral, so as long as he doesn't crit me, I'm fine with Bulu. As long as he doesn't crit or freeze me, I'm completely fine here. Okay, nice. Um, I don't think I need my Bulu, so I'll just uh, super power here. I'm faster, okay. So he's not Scarf. Oh, yeah, he should grass you. What am I saying? And now we can just clean up with Shadow Ball, I think. I mean, his thing is too healthy, his Tangros. But he sucks his trend, we get a boost. He goes Landris, not knowing that I'm Scarf, so now we actually win with Bill Cephalon. Not sure if Tangros eats a plus two hit after the spikes. He just forfeits. Yeah, but Cephalon is putting in some work, you guys can tell. I'm gonna get at least one more game, depending on how long it is. If it's a longer one, I'm gonna end it after this. If it's a shorter one, I'm gonna get another one. Um, let me say have fun to this guy. I don't know why I haven't been saying that often lately. Let me check his rank. Yeah, not that good again. So it's just me like trying to get out of the ladder, I guess. Um, yeah, again, I'm. I usually lead with Greninja or sometimes Lari with this team. So if this is either Scarf or Mega Lari. Um, I want to keep my Heatron healthy for switching into Blacephalon. So I think Bulu is my play. I obviously don't want to take a Scarf Draco with my Greninja and he goes Ferrothorn. Okay. So that gives us information that he's most likely not Scarf Lari. That doesn't this didn't work out this didn't work out well for me at all. He can now get up a spike or something like that. He just protects, I don't know why. Because I could have been a sub SD variant. I don't like that play. But yeah, I'm just gonna get my rocks up. Um Lava Plume also would have been a good play, potentially burning the Landris. So since this wasn't Scarf, I think that either the one of these three is gonna have to be the Scarfer. I'm just gonna go to my own line. Actually, Lari. I think Lari would have been a better play to get off the Mega to get my bulk. Since we have HP fighting, we don't have to fear the Bishop. But since he just U turned, Landorus works out fine. And he gets some chip. He gets chipped down by Helmet. So I am kinda don't wanna go into my Bula because. What if he has Gang Shot or Ice Beam? So I'm gonna go my Greninja just to scout. If he's Ash. Oh, so he has Gang Shot, that's why I didn't wanna go my Bulu. I think he's Battlebond actually because he didn't show Protein. That's really interesting. Um, but yeah, we can get up a spike here. I'm actually not sure if he's like Specs Gang Shot, but just no special tank investment. But the, the Gang Shot doesn't do much damage, so it might be, it might be Specs. Unfortunately, we don't have Taunt, but yeah, we'll just go back to Heat Turn here. And this has an amazing version. And now I can just Lava Plume. I don't know why you would ever go for Protect there. Like, what if I had Substitute? I know it's not common anymore, but that's definitely something you have to, like, consider. So he goes in the Lardy. Um, maybe he has Earthquake. Unfortunately, we don't burn him. But I'm just gonna go Tabu Bulu again. Sc kind of scouting for Earthquake. Yeah, he's Megalari. That's what I thought. So I'm just gonna Nature's Madness here. As he goes Blacephalon, which is gonna take a lot. 
Hazards plus Nature's Madness. And yeah, we can go with a Spadef trend, Grassy Turin and Leftovers. We can easily eat Shadow Bolts. As, what, what is the easy move? See Sunny Day. Oh, that's cool, I guess, but that, that was not the turn to go for it, my guy. So, the Sunny Day is like cool to get rid of um, Tita Sand and then hit Tita hard with Z move, but in this scenario, it was definitely not the play. There's gonna be like 30, yeah, that did nothing. And he obviously dies, and we get Grassy Terrain and Leftovers back. So, we munch on that. I'm such a big fan of Grassy Terrain plus Heatran. With like, Grassy Terrain and Leftovers, it's so amazing. <clears throat> like, you just never die. But yeah, he definitely has Earthquake on this, the way he's playing this. If I had Toxic, I would go for it here. Because the main mod I needed, the Hedron Forest, the Blacephalon is already dead. And we don't die to Earthquake because of Grass Terrain. But since we don't have Toxic, I don't think there's a point in staying in. I can go to Maladios here, but then we have to risk a tie afterwards. I think Greninja is a good play on Earthquake here. Yeah, he Earthquakes. Um, call me the prediction god. <clears throat> I mean, that wasn't too hard because Megalady, what, what else would he do to hit you other than Earthquake or Surf? And since the sun is up, Earthquake makes more sense. But yeah, it was Grassy Terrain, so that did nothing. And the thing I just Dark Pulse here to weaken his Ferrothorn. I kind of wanted to double into my Heat Chain, but this is completely fine. But yeah, he gets chipped from heads. Unfortunately, we're not spec, so this doesn't do that too much. So like the spikes are getting a bit annoying. If he gets up too many hands, I might have to defog, but at the moment I'm fine. And yeah, we can just lava bloom here. He doesn't have good switchins. I mean Greninja is obviously annoying, but if it comes out it has to take a hazard. And if he goes Lottie and gets burned, that would be amazing. Please get burned. Ah nice. Now he cannot hit us with Earthquake anymore, so he's probably gonna recover here. But I'm just gonna go to my Tapu Bulu um, to get up Grassy Terrain again for my Heatran, for my <coughs> Greninja, and also it pretty much wall him because the best move that he has to hit me is probably Psychic. And I can just Nature's Madness. I'm kinda expecting him to recover. Like, we kinda cannot touch each other, but it's gonna be fine for me in the long run. But yeah, usually I like um, Specs Greninja more than the Z-Move variant. This guy's quite, taking quite long, so it might be the last battle of the life. Not sure if I've shown you guys all the teams that I wanted to show you, but yeah, just check out the description. I'm going to leave at least a few teams. This is a team that I saw, um, um, whatchamacallit, Kick-Ass I use on a ladder and I snatched it as well. Scarf Diva Glando. I, I actually don't remember if you... Yeah, I think I snatched it correct. So there's a Spanish stack attacker, I'm not sure if I stole this correct, but it's also cool. And here Medichamp plus... Plus Avalon, I'm not sure if I talked about it in this video yet, but it's amazing. To, for Medichamp to pressure the opposing T-Tars, they want to trap your plus Avalon if you just double out. But yeah, this team doesn't have a defog, I still have to work on that team. And then we have some cool teams here, um, don't look at the stall team, but we have some other cool teams. Like this is the Pinsir team that my main insult made. And like I said earlier, it has default Landris, which means you can afford to run another move on Mew. Ice Power, Ice Beam, Will O' Wisp, and Soft Ball. We're just a big fan of that. Uh, Sugar Berry, Spadef, Tita. You can eat Earthquakes from Landris, and then you can eat Earthquakes from Landris, and then uh, what should we call it? Kill them with Ice Beam, right? Or do a lot. There's a, a team from my man Ultra Balls with Z Tab and Katana. It's actually a genius. You get a speed boost, right, for a few turns, and you get. a Basically, it's like focus energy, and Leaf Blade already has a high crit reach, high crit ratio. So I think your Leaf Blade always crits, which is amazing. Okay, so that guy forfeited. So that wasn't the longest game. We're gonna get one more, and then we're gonna call it a day. I wanted to make the video around 30 minutes. I mean, we're at 29 now, but yeah, one more game should be fine. Yeah, I can tell my voice is coming to an end, kind of. I should not be doing this. So the, the Scouter doesn't have the best win-loss ratio. He's using all the new toys. I'm wondering if he's Defog Torn. Hmm. Kind of like the Bula lead here. Damn, um, you can just horn leech him. So it's probably Sash Rock's lead, yeah.
Yeah, that's fine. He toxics me, so that's completely fine as well. No, like the only thing that is a bit annoying, uh, without his levitate, it means it doesn't get recovery from Grass Turin, otherwise, it would be cool. But yeah, we're gonna go Heat Turin since we have Grass Turin up. Already talked about this. We're gonna be able to eat the Shadow Ball as he does 30. Actually, with rocks that hurt, but thankfully, we had to rain plus lefties. Mm, his rock is already dead, so I'm not gonna set my rocks. I'm gonna defog his rocks first. I'm expecting him to go into either Torn or Greninja. I think I should just Lava Plume here. Okay, he stayed in. That was a bad play on his part. I guess I should have off powered. That's my fault for expecting too much. Now I might get blown away by Z Shadow Ball. Yeah, his play was horrible though. Maybe he, I mean I guess he didn't die to off power in one hit, but still. Not a big fan of how he played that. <clears throat> so what we can do here is go Greninja and in Dark Pulse. We get a Ash form. I almost wanted to Z move there, but f he just stayed in for some reason. I mean, Elf Power probably didn't Oko him, let's call it that. Cephalon vs. Heatran. And some is Um This doesn't have Elf Power for some reason. Okay, 80 to 94. I really want to go for my Z move here, but what if he's Scarf God of War? He should be Mega though. Does Mega God of War die to one? So let's say Greninja Ash, right? Not Specs though. <coughs> Where's Gardevoir? There's Yadro. Has a really good chance to kill. And if he locks himself in the Moonblast. I mean, Greninja is amazing in this matchup about speeding tornadoes. Huh. Yeah, but he should be Mega, and Zemo like Zemo has a ch good chance to kill, so I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, he's Mega. As we get a crit, unfortunate, but it was a roll. Uh, let me post a let me post a calc for him in case he wants to cry. It has a 68% chance to kill. I mean, he, he maybe had some bulk investment, so he's going Naganadel. Not sure if he's Scarf, but I'm not gonna let him set up for free. Maybe he's Sash. Oh, wait, they did nothing. We gotta flinch, okay. Sorry, hexing this poor guy. I mean, what would he have done there? If he, he, either, had, he either had to kill me with Draco there, uh, be, if, or if he Nessie plotted, I would have just dark pulsed again. So, that was over. I mean, I wanted to I wanted to get more games, but I'm just. My voice is like kinda coming to an end. It's, okay, yeah, thank you guys for watching. The team is gonna be in the description, like I said. And uh, if you have like great teams, or like if you already made teams, just post them to me. And yeah, you can expect more tournament games maybe next week. Um, not the next, the next few days, one two days. I'm still gonna be a bit thick probably. So like, I'm not sure when it will go away. But yeah, I'm gonna try um the record with Naganadel later in a few hours when my voice is hopefully back, kinda. If it doesn't work, I have to wait a day. Let's see. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, how? By the way, um, are you guys like all playing through Ultra Sun and Moon? Let me know in the comments because like I. I actually didn't get Ultra Sun and Moon and I don't regret it at all. I have been watching some parts of a Let's Play and it's kind of, the, the few parts that I have seen, it's kind of like the normal Sun and Moon. There's only so little new bots and yeah. It's, it's not, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like, I'm just super excited for if we get a Gen 8 on the Switch and that, that would be so hype. But yeah, I'm gonna leave around four teams in the description so you guys can try them. Use Naganandel before it's getting banned. I'm gonna make another live with it either later or tomorrow. And have a fantastic day. And peace out, friends.